Hey YouTube, I'm back. It's Steph. Um, I wanted to come to you guys today because my locks are just looking extra, extra good today in my opinion. So I'm going to get close and let you look at it. But um, there's no other special reason or anything like that. I am about a week away from my uh, 10 month lock anniversary. So I'll do another video next week. But look at this. Okay, like they're just looking so extra juicy. I love it. So y'all know that I'm I'm free forming now, right? Because I love that super fluff, that super thick mange look. So uh Yeah, I mean, all I can say is that I'm I'm falling in love with my hair even more again. Like, <laughs> it's just awesome. Like, look at this. Who knew? So let me tell you what I did. You guys know, if you look at all my other videos, I usually like to pull the front back or pin it or back out of my face or have it swoop back. Some kind of way it's out of my face. Well, today I decided I wanted to do something different and see if it would look okay. And I absolutely love how it looks. So I have a new hairstyle now that I'm going to be wearing hopefully for the next week or so until I get tired of it and my hair decides to do something new. So um, this is what I do. This is my routine at least on a weekly basis. And the only reason I was able to do it this morning and still have time to record is that I didn't go to work today. So here we go. I started out with my rose water and I lightly spritzed it all over my hair more so on the sides and in the back because in the front if I get it too wet the uh, locks are gonna merge together like immediately and they'll be locked like in five minutes they'll be locked <laughs> so together so I just lightly very ever so lightly spritz with my rose water and this is actually diluted, so rose water and regular water mixed, okay? All right. Next, I took my uh, avocado oil, my extra virgin avocado oil. Remember my last video, I told you guys that I felt like the um, olive oil, um, safflower oil mix was just sitting on my strands and not soaking in? Well, I decided to go ahead and start experimenting with oils and extra virgin avocado oil is one of the ones that I got. Now I got this from the Whole Foods store, so it was a little bit on the expensive side, but um, when I opened it, I was very glad to see, you can't really see the color in this glass bottle, but I was hoping that it was green because I want the one with as much nutrients as possible, um, you know, the, the least processed type that I could find so it's green guys like it is green let me show you and it's thick let's see see that all right well it's not it's like yellowish green but it's not that thin light yellow color that you sometimes see um, when you go to like, um, you know, health food store and you see certain brands on the shelf like Aria Acacia is one of the brands that they sell um, in the skincare section. And um, the kind that they had there, the avocado oil was light, 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 light yellow. So I didn't, I was like, nah, let me get the heavy, thick stuff. So um, anyway, just put some of that on my hands and I'm not going to. Put it in there now because I don't want to mess up my hair and how it's laying right now. But it has a nutty smell. I actually love how it smells. I'm so weird. I love how it smells. 
So I just put some of that into my hair, worked it in, massaged it in real good, get into my scalp. And then um, this morning, I took a little bit of the avocado oil because this is, I mean, not avocado, the apricot oil because I've been experimenting with this too and putting a little bit on the tips of my fingers and massaging that into my scalp real good. Of course, a little bit gets on my strands. Um, so that's what I did. And that's what I've been doing every couple of days now. And so then after I do that, I take a plastic cap. Um, actually, I took a plastic bag, a grocery bag, and wrapped my hair up in it and just tied it really tight, like taut. So it can generate a lot of heat and, you know, condition and do all that stuff that it likes to do. Um, so after I showered and got dressed and everything, I took off the, the uh, plastic cap and my hair fell like it was a little more compact but then after you know some time it kind of fell a little bit and this is exactly what it looked like. I have not moved anything I haven't at all like I loved it even the couple of strands coming to the front because I usually don't like that I feel like it covers up too much of my face or something and it's not attractive or something to me like I like my forehead <laughs> but um, I was like no I don't have to go anywhere today so I don't really need to change anything and then to my surprise I liked it so I think it kind of grew on me <laughs> after walking past the mirror a couple times at home like oh I like this so um, that's basically it that's all I wanted to tell you guys like I so love my hair I'm loving the thickness that it's that it's giving off, the appearance of thickness that it's giving off. Um, and I guess it is like really thick, at least at the roots. At least at the roots. It's got me thinking like, I kind of wish that I had started off free for me. But um, there's no way I would have known that I was going to like that because um, I really didn't even expect to go through the locking journey like I wasn't looking forward to that when I started at all I was just I wanted I don't know I wanted locks but I wanted them long and I wanted to be able to style them so my initial thing about getting locks was I want extensions I was gonna just straight up go extensions like I wasn't even gonna do this to myself but then after I thought about it and I had bought the, some of the hair and everything and I started making the extensions and I was like, I don't really know. I don't know how thick to make them because I don't know how thick my hair is going to be when it's locked. And I was like, I don't want anything heavy, too heavy on my hair to cause me to lose hair at the scalp and all this kind of stuff. So I was like, you know what? I can always add extensions later if I want to. Let me lock my hair first. And now I have totally fallen in love with this and I don't I don't want any fake hair on my hair like I don't want it like I don't want it on there because I feel like I even like the short phase like whatever phase this is I mean it's not super super short because I started with a pretty good amount of hair but you know I like this yeah I like it so anyway as far as my hair, any other changes, I really haven't seen any other than I'm discovering um, new things that look cute with it, with how it lays and stuff. But that's it. Um, avocado oil, get you some avocado oil. The stuff is thick. I really didn't think thick oil would be good on my hair. I didn't even realize how thick it was until I got it because I don't like the heaviness of castor oil the castor oil to me is like thick and greasy it has like a greasy thing to me feel um, whereas the avocado oil is like sort of thick but it's not greasy I don't know that's weird but I feel it soaks into my hair which is the goal so I'm glad that it actually does that and then I noticed too like my hair pulls in moisture from all over the place. Once I put this avocado oil on, it's like it pulls in moisture from all over the place. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm happy. I'm excited about this avocado oil thing. I'm excited about what my hair is doing. And I hope you guys are excited too. So if you thought this video was cool, 
If you thought it was helpful, if you think you might try the avocado oil on your locks, let me know in the comments. Um, feel free to subscribe and like this video and say hey, what's up and stuff. And yeah, I'll see you guys next week for my 10 month. Bye.